and I am back again. Sorry for that because I'll show you in a moment because the operation system that I'm using is quite light on my laptop but the laptop itself cannot cope with too much power um, to, towards the graphics. So let's go back then here, as you can see now, is DDR4-3600 MHz and also the same in here. If I go to advance, I made the changes for 2 gigs, so as you can see, it's still there. Now I'm going to go to the exit, I didn't make no changes, so, but still, I'm going to do save and restart or reboot um, I don't know if it's gonna show I hope it does because to be honest I hope it doesn't fail me because it's almost reaching well the laptop is almost reaching 90 degrees Celsius <laughs> the poor thing cannot cope with the power oh it does show okay brilliant so this is my operation system. I'm using the Arco Linux. So let me just show you for, for a moment. Um, maybe I should show you in a different way. Um, let's see. So as, as you guys can see, this is my operation system and that I'm using. And um, yeah. Um, I was using Solus OS, but unfortunately, um, Solus, it's a bit limit when it comes to a few applications that I need. And the Arco Linux really does the job. And it's much lighter when it comes to the system itself also, which is great. Um, now, what I want to show you guys here is this let me just go here let... so what I want to show you guys here is the system itself so what happened let me put much closer so you guys can see so here is what we have the RAM so the total RAM I have available in general is 13.5 so remember I took 2 gigs right for the GPU that is gone so it will not show up now from that yeah it's been using about 972 megabytes the free and available RAM that I have is 12.4 so 92% of the RAM is free to be used. Okay. The cache yeah, is 403 megabytes. That is the reason why you see the 13.5. So the cache normally reduce the RAM because when you open applications after applications, you're gonna need the cache and the cache is gonna need the RAM. So that's how it is. Um, I think that's all I can show you guys, to be honest, because I just want you guys to have an idea of what I've done with the RAM. Because so to be honest, I would rather have a 32 gigabytes of RAM because I could have done much more. I could give more RAM to the GPU, which the GPU would be very happy with that, especially when you're trying to do your, your video rendering and all that, so it will be perfect. But I only have 16, so I have to balance not only the, well, not only for the GPU, but also for the system itself and for other applications. So two gigs is perfect to do that. If you have a 32 gigabytes, you can go for a four gigabytes just for the GPU. And 
you will see difference when it comes to video rendering or any type of graphics because the GPU will use only that um, RAM that you gave it to do all the work instead to have to share with another application or with the system itself so that's a good thing about it and yeah so here you would see the internet but i'm not connect on the internet here you will see but i didn't set up or mount one of my storage but here you will see the storage that i have the operation system um here normally you will see all the applications on your system that is working on a background or just on standby and yeah and also you could try to to see what exactly does the the application itself does and where to find the application like if i enter you will tell me that the, the application is here so on this folder i will find it the application at the moment is asleep and uh, yeah that is oh, oh yeah and here on the top uh, you'll see the the IMD Ryzen 5 5600G and the CPU working it will give you the percentage and also the voltage so I think that's it for today I hope you guys enjoyed the video this is going to be like a two videos because the other part of the reboot it didn't work so i have to put together with this one and i'll see you guys next time until then take care bye